कैसे हो भाई लोग या फिर मारा मारी हो गया लेडीज एंड जेंटमेन बाबी खान एक इज लिविंग इट इज डो इट इज गो खान लव ड्यूटी सेव राइट और मे बी नॉट Like and subscribe if you're brand new. Let's get into the story. Bobby Kotick is leaving Activision Blizzard on December 29th. I mean, damn, bro, Phil, at least like let him pop some champagnes for the for, uh, the new year, dog. Come on, bro, like why are you doing the homie dirty like that, bro? You're going to be celebrating Christmas with the guy, but you're not going to be celebrating New Year. Come on, man. And guys, this is going to knock your socks out. I'm also doing a giveaway for the PlayStation and Xbox gift card. If you're interested, check out the top pin comment for sure. But check this out, right? This is absolutely insanity, okay? Holy if Bobby Kotick acquired majority of Activision shares in 1991. for $400,000. That's a lot of money, man. That's a lot of paper. Uh 400k and in 2023, Kotick leaves the company selling it to Microsoft for and I quote, $69 billion. Bruh. And he is $500 million richer as well because you know for leaving he's going to be getting like the 500 uh, bonus here and there. You can't really get two pennies. I swear to God, man, anybody who smashes the like button deserves to get at least Two Benjis, okay. Bruh. Two Benjis. You want more? You want more? Okay. Uh, how about uh, <laughs> uh, two hundred fifty dollars? Bruh. L- listen, guys. I'm trying. I'm here asking for two pennies for myself. Come on, dog. You smash a like button, man. Smash a like button. But guys, this is where it it takes a massive turn. So this got more twist than a plate full of noodles. All right. Other Activision Blizzard changes. Several C-suite executives are leaving in March. I mean, who would have thought? We actually predicted this. We talked about this, right? Because they really wanted this deal to go to uh, Xbox. And I mean, all right, understandable. We're not talking about like Xbox fanboys or PlayStation fanboys, or should the deal go through or not? Uh, I'm just simply mentioning this, and I did mention this. Obviously, a lot of these executives are. They want to get a payroll. They want to get a bonus. They want to get the extra bingies. Uh, and how can they get that? Is if the company gets sold because they're gonna get a bonus. And that's exactly what's happening. Lulu Chang, the chief comms officer, is leaving at the end of January. Yay. Oh my god! Oh my Yay. god! And there is a oh ton my- of <laughs> there is a ton of drama right now. The PlayStation fanboys are flaming the Xbox fanboys. This is coming from okay, Red Dragon PlayStation fanboy, Sony Pony, Astral, uh, Astral. Xbox fanboy, you know what I'm saying? Xbox is now led by three powerful women, three Valkyries. <laughs> The future of Xbox is bright. I mean, come on, man, stop simping, dog. And he points out that, yep, they are actually leaving on January uh, 2024, right there. Bumbaka! That happened. Uh, this girl really brought out all the sims. This is so cringe. Queen, Queen grabbed that check and said, "Bye, peasants." And you can see like the Xbox fanboys. Uh, Lulu said, "Good, good morning, gamers." <laughs> and this is uh, a picture taken on July the 15th. Uh, that's when she last wrote, okay? Uh, and then you got the Xbox fanboys like cheering. Uh, being a queen is dope. Uh, Astel said, "This is absolutely." <laughs> It's hella sauce, hella salt, and it's hilarious. But we all saw this coming. We all knew that Lulu is gonna peace out, right? We all saw that coming. I mean, a lot of these executives, they just wanted to get their payroll. Spoiler alert, they do not care for the gamers. Spoiler alert, they don't care about the games they make. Spoiler alert, they don't care about you. Yeah, they don't care about any of us, guys. Like and subscribe if that's a revelation. I've been here in the COD community. Recently, it seems like it's been tweaked here within Modern Warfare 3. It doesn't seem nearly as intense. It seems like lobbies are a bit more fair, a bit more random, and a bit more enjoyable over the course of the past week or so, which is raising a lot of questions from the yeah, community. Yeah, right now, suckers are believing that Phil Spencer actually reduced the skill based matchmaking. And if that's true, Don DeMarco real quick. DeMarco. And I, I hope it's true, man. I really hope going forward they actually reduce it. And when are they going to talk about it? Because these things said that they are going to talk about this, okay? They're going to talk about the failure. They're going to talk about these BBC bundles. And they're also going to talk about skill-based matching. And maybe I'm getting too ahead of myself. They just said skill-based matching and not the BBC bundles. 
community. Now, the thing about skill-based matchmaking is it's very hard to prove, and everybody's situation is going to be different. Some people are going to say, you know, this past week was not easy for them at all. It was, it was just as sweaty as ever, maybe more so. Whereas other people might be saying, well, this past week was actually pretty chill. I was kind of enjoying it. And then everyone else is going to be somewhere in the middle, right? It's always very difficult with all this anecdotal evidence surrounding skill-based matchmaking, but we do know that it does exist. Recently, Call of Duty Activision, they went out and they made this entire statement about skill-based matchmaking. Yeah. Basically, they're like, yeah, it does exist. We have been working on it for a number of years. And then right there towards the end, it says, talking about this topic in detail can be hard, and we haven't spent the time to pull together all of our work to share with you our... Duh, you just have to open your mouth and talk, though. How hard can it be to say... Yeah, we have skill-based matchmaking and we hear our players loud and clear and therefore we're removing the skill-based matchmaking. Simple as that, dog. Simple. Like if you agree, that's all y'all suckers gotta do, man. The fact that they're saying that it, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard for us to talk about and we have to actually get together, work to share with you our insights and improvements in the coming weeks. That tells me that they're just trying to cook that bullshit ass response so we know that it's gonna be made up we know that it's not gonna be removed and we know that it's gonna it's here to stay and they're just gonna try and find our best the probably the best way to communicate that to us so there's least amount of toxic gamers <laughs> essentially that's exactly what they're trying to do right now i mean come on dog but okay the positive outcome from this as the homie Nero Shenema is mentioning, mentioning and I've even seen it thoughts uh, make a video on it and a lot of people are actually talking about the fact that skill based matchmaking kind of feel less right now it kind of feels less right now uh, I think they might have reduced a little bit because the sales are down cr like crazy almost 40% and they really really got a banger coming out in the next two years we had leaks for the next Black Ops game and also for like Black Ops 2 sequel Oh shit! Oh, Dennis! Shit. We getting a Black Ops 2 remake, not a remaster, a remake with remaster maps and also new maps, similar to how Modern Warfare 3 2023 is, Bruh. but apparently it's gonna be better than that, that's what we're hearing, so the next two years are gonna be very, very important for Call of Duty sites and improvements over the many years. We're looking forward to doing that in the coming weeks after Season 1 launches. So Season 1 is about two weeks old right now. It's been a couple weeks and we've still not heard anything from the COD team about skill-based matchmaking, about how it works. They, they forgot, they forgot. About why they have it in the game to begin with and why they believe it's good for the franchise. We're still yet to get that entire statement from them. Hopefully it's a blog post, maybe a dev interview. I'm not entirely sure exactly what they're going to be doing. But Bro, th they're not. This thing is not gonna do a dev interview this thing is just gonna tap it out they're probably gonna give us that ai response bro. they're probably gonna be putting in the chat gpt right -ish, the best and the most friendly way to uh, uh <laughs> for us to be able to communicate the skill based matchmaking to our fans uh, or to our not our fans to our uh bbc bundles buyer you feel what i'm saying <laughs> Cause let's be real, they don't view us like fans, dog. They just view us as dollar signs. Like and subscribe if your mind, if your third eye is right now, uh, is open right now. They have to know, no matter what they say, they're putting their hand right in the horn's nest because COD fans, rightly so, are fed up with skill-based matchmaking. But you're yeah, watching the gameplay here, right? Does this look like skill-based matchmaking was really kicking in for me? No, this is like one of the most chill lobbies I think I've yeah, ever It feels like that you are blame truth uh, with that retwat helmet. I cannot say certain words on YouTube. I know I may have said it in the past, but learning and growing. I'm a teens man right now, so I, I cannot say it because of the algorithm, guys. Uh, like and subscribe for the algorithm, know what I'm saying? But, but, here's the thing though. Maybe he's uh, playing on that Billy Goat account though ever played and i think it's due to the fact that we had a recent free weekend for modern warfare 3 yeah, if you guys true, don't know true. the game was free you could go in you could play certain playlists level up your guns do this that and the other thing and people are wondering if during that time they adjusted skill-based matchmaking in one way or another because it really did genuinely feel better across the board and you may be thinking well maybe that's because a whole bunch of new people are showing up they're all free players and whatever but that's not really the case because in most lobbies every person on both teams were level 55 or higher you know, oh, rarely did you see somebody even below level 55. Even in this lobby right here, there's only two people under 55. We have one on my team, one on the other team, and everyone else is... Yeah, the point he's making is that if... Yeah, if in free lobbies, uh, or, you know, when it was free, the people that actually downloaded the game for free and were playing for free, they probably 
and they should have had like rank zero because they're starting new they're starting fresh and they most probably were match made with the skill of their level right to with, with the players are, are, are almost gonna that they almost have the same skills i'm having a yeah, yeah, uh, hard times pronounced right now uh, but but you feel what i'm saying right so the 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 new players were match made with new players and he's match made with toxic gamers independent gamers uh and uh you know call of duty players that play the game like their life depends on that yeah exactly yeah it's 55 or higher keep in mind modern warfare 3 is kind of buggy right now and for some reason it'll show people in your game as level 55 even though they might be level 200 or level 89 or whatever the hell so that's been buggy since season one came out but okay. the point still okay. stands it was a free weekend and during that time it really did feel like con was a bit more enjoyable it felt like it was a bit oh, more God. relaxed and my question is did they lower skill-based matchmaking during the weekend if you think about it if you're somebody out there who's on the fence about buying modern warfare 3 up until this point you have not purchased it you're kind of nah, don't do it bro Oh shit! Oh shit! Pump the brakes! <laughs> Pump the brakes right now, Brad! Like, don't try to sell me the game! I did not buy this game and I wanna keep it like that, bro! I don't wanna buy the game! I want actual changes going into the future with the new game! I want the next Black Ops game to be good because, dog, we're actually hearing some good news about it! I, and I don't want to be shaken for that. I don't want to be like the homie Mr. Dalek. Oh, oh I'm shaking. That is shaking. Uh, I want to be excited. I mean, damn, bro. Like, we, what are we talking about here? We're talking video games, right? Like, I mean, damn, though. Like, why do we play it? To have fun, to escape, and uh, to chill out, right? And that's exactly why I hope the next Call of Duty game is good. Simple as that. And, and But I don't want to be overhyped for that game, knowing these sagas uh, are just having these manipulated ass lobbies the the system is rigged with the skill based management umm where all they want to do is get you to buy these bbc bundles they care about these 20 dollars 30 dollars skins simple as that and i'm just fed up with that uh I, I hope they prioritize content. It's fine if you want to have bundles because I understand like they're not going to remove it and <laughs> we live in sad times guys. This is a sad timeline. They're not going to remove it. But I sure but but the thing that I'm asking, the thing that I'm hoping for here is that I mean put some respect on your fans and prioritize content, good content, new content over $20 in recycled content. That's all I'm saying. Remove skill-based matchmaking, okay? Or keep skill-based matchmaking in rank play and have public no skill-based matchmaking, new content and good content. Prioritize that, respect your fans, and also, you, you can have the bundles, you can have all of these BBC bundles, dog. You can have it, but at least have good content, at least have the decency in you for, uh, for you to respect the fans, dog. Done with COD, you're tired like of skill-based matchmaking and all the bullshit. If up until this point, you have not bought the game, but you did, however, play Modern Warfare 2, you did play Vanguard, you did play Cold War or whatever, then all of your skill-based matchmaking and your algorithmic nonsense is still going to be tied yeah. to your Call of Duty account. There's yeah. a reason why people make new accounts, there's a reason why people make Smurf accounts to soft reverse boost on and join their sessions and things like that. Yeah. Everything about- Yeah, Blame Troop does that. He came up multiple times. Uh, that's how the Mafia works and this is how a lot of the streamers are playing as well the ones that you see where their lobbies are so easy either they're bad players but most streamers that play on a daily basis it might be true for a guy like me Bruh. you know because i basically nowadays i barely play call of duty i've been playing black ops cold war and i've noticed my lobbies have gotten harder but it's nowhere near the same level as like how it, the, the skill based match freaking was in modern warfare 19 and modern warfare 2022 when i played it okay I, i've been loving nuke ton 24 7 in black ops cold war that's the only thing i'm playing right now uh, and mixed with fortnite here and there but here's the thing though a lot of these streamers that you see play games on a daily basis most of them are cheating let's be real but there are some that are not cheating but they're reverse boosting i know some people were like yo wow wow that's cheating too dog I, I know we have different definition of cheating but i wouldn't say that's cheating that's like reverse boosting that's like uh, you know how the homie swag would be like that's what's happening they're juicing they're making sure they get uh to make a new account and they reverse boost and they join those accounts and get easier lobbies like that which is just uh, sad and pathetic about what you're gonna do about it because the system is rigged i i don't blame those people for doing that i blame activision for having skill-based matchmaking 
because they really ruined the game with that. If they remove skill-based matchmaking, Slick is not gonna do that. They added skill-based matchmaking and they created more problems. Remove skill-based matchmaking and the problem will be solved. Then it's gonna be about the cheaters. Yeah, I mean, up the security, dog. You're a billion dollar company, though. You're a multi-billion dollar company, man. Get, as Call of Shame would say, get rid of these rats, dog. Skill-based matchmaking is tied directly to your Activision ID and to your account. So if you're one of those people that did play Modern Warfare 2, you did play Vanguard and whatever, and then you jump into the free weekend of Modern Warfare 3, and then you see it's just as sweaty as usual, then you're likely not to want to play the game. If you waited this yep. long not to get the game, and then you play the free weekend and you don't have fun, well, then you're probably never going to buy Modern Warfare 3 ever. Yep. So agreed, is it agreed. possible? And I know we're getting the tinfoil. Uh, and, I, and I didn't even bother downloading the the online because i know it was like four days and i don't want to download like 100 gigs wait for that to download install it and then play one or two match and then just peace out and then delete there's no point so i didn't even bother doing that either how many of you guys actually played for free or how many of you actually bought it and you're liking it or hating it let me know let me know your experience and we're territory here but it really makes sense knowing activision is it possible that they lowered skill-based matchmaking during the free event to draw more people in did they pull Impossible. the old bait yeah. and switch to get these people to play the game again with lower skill based matchmaking so they can actually enjoy themselves for a change and then once they actually purchase the game they go back to regular skill based matchmaking is that entirely possible because i think that it is i mean it just this, this past week wow shocker right listen we're talking about activisions man these sons of female dogs have algorithms in place that you play five matches, seconds know the entire history of your bloodline though. Yeah. They know how many kids you're gonna have. They know the size of your dong, bro. They know if your girl is pregnant before she finds out. Yeah, that's how crazy the algorithm is. Oh, shit. Oh. Yeah. So obviously like that, they, they, if they can do that, how are you supposed to believe that they're not capable of doing this? Bro, it's a multi-billion dollar company, bro. Like, the week has felt pretty chill. I mean, internet issues, connectivity issues, and packet burst issues aside, I, I need to figure out my entire gaming setup, man, because everything is just falling apart as of right now. But when I could actually <laughs> play the game, things are running smoothly. This past week has felt pretty damn chill. And uh -huh. I definitely do think that the recent free weekend had something to do with it. But on top of that, it could be a number of other factors, which is why skill-based matchmaking is so it's so convoluted it's so shrouded in mystery it's why we're waiting yeah. on that official statement blog post or what even that official statement guys like do you really think they're gonna give you the truth do you really think they're gonna tell you the truth they're probably not gonna it's gonna be it's gonna be like 20 percent truth and 80 percent cap we know it's true we know it's true because they always ignore it for in first time in history they have officially made a post and they said they're gonna talk about it which confirms it's real so for any dork out there that believes that it doesn't exist it exists they officially confirmed it but over the years i know like during modern warfare 19 uh i remember making videos i remember that's when it, this topic was fresh right at least for call of duty and i made videos on it a lot of youtubers were making videos on it and you know the comments were kind of like 50 50 right a lot of people were like nah, that's real a lot of people nah, that's fake so a lot of uh people wanted to believe a lot of people were not believing it and understandable at that time i get it though right because it was fresh fresh was new it's some whenever something is new people just want to reject it it's not real it's not real you know that sort of things and then we had the patterns the pattern leaked out we talked about it but even then people didn't believe but over the years i guess a lot of people are believing this is why every time they try to do q a people flood in and only ask about skill based matching and this time i guess people went so crazy and rightfully shout out to all of you watching the video and the people also that are not watching this video that actually contributed and asked Ask them about skill based matching and over the years kept that pressure up. Shout out, shout out to all of you. Simply shout out to all of you. And because of you, they finally gonna talk about it. when i mean hopefully soon but they finally gonna whatever they're, they're going to be putting out because skill based matchmaking there's so many factors to it right so i have interstellar camo and as such my stats are not very good i mean if you're running around trying to get double kills with the freaking rgl if you're running around trying to do all the challenges with the light machine guns and the sniper rifles and this that and the other while skill based matchmaking is bending you over a barrel your stats aren't going to be amazing or at least mine weren't because if, if i cared about my stats while also using bad guns in a game yeah. with 
with heavy skill based matchmaking then i would just want to tear my hair yeah that's a that's a good point that's a good point because uh, recently I, i've been playing black ops cold war 20 newtown 24 7 and i'm trying to unlock the weapons and recently unlock like all the shotguns so in one uh in one there were like challenges like hey play 15 matches and then every match gets get three kills with this shotgun without dying that was one and also get two kills point blank so very close uh 15 matches again every in every match for 15 matches straight and then you're gonna unlock the uh the the, the weapons and i've noticed actually even in black ops cold war even even though i feel like that the skill based matchmaking is very light in black ops cold war and the game is a lot more enjoyable but i've noticed this whenever i would play with assault rifles i would try to do very very good and when i do good my next lobby would be a little bit harder it's nowhere near like modern warfare 2 levels or modern warfare 3 levels of skill based matchmaking it would be harder but when i use shotguns and if i die over and over again for like two three games straight then my next lobbies would be a lot more easier uh yeah I i've actually felt that as well but guys hopefully they're gonna talk about it click on this video on the screen the next black ops game got leaked out oh, we had two black ops games coming out we had massive leaks so first gameplay leaks as well click on this video on the left though we have the memes compilation we're doing brand new content check out some of that toxic gamer rage you're gonna love it i promise check this out and i'll see you there